Hedge Knight Hedrick Betts. Though you see me taking a nap on a floor akimbo with blankets and pillows. Confuse you not as a knight of swords, both in thrust, parry, and a do. As a true poet and a martial artist, I will cut you in half even with the return. The fact that you don't know what the return might be. Oh, well, that makes a holy and I laugh. Sometimes I have to talk to my cat just because there's too many idiots in the world that I have to remove myself. That's a true statement. It's not meant to be condescending, but it's accurate. I know words like parry, thrust, whatever, and they're not made up terms. They're not they're not just words that I'm using to sound smart. I literally know how to fence. I know how to fence and fight with swords. And whenever I talk to anyone in this world about knowing how to fight with swords, their first response is, oh no you don't. Do you realize what the result of anyone who fights with a sword with me is going to be humiliation and possibly death. Humiliation, possibly death, especially if the fight starts with, you don't know anything about swords. You're just making those words up. And then I hit you three times with a fucking sword. That could be the way the world goes. That's the way the world used to go. Bar, bar, bar. You don't know what a sword means. What was that back there? Pieces of problems. Just pieces of problems. Mean girls. Mean girls and mean boys rely too much on the law. You can be a ninja in modern times and not have to rely on mercenary tactics. But at the same time, anyone who makes fun of anyone in a society where it is legal for me to lay on a mat like this and say, I am a swordsman. If you want to have a spirited debate and make fun of me, I would rather fight you with a stick. It's legal. If you can't handle it, you're a pussy. Now, anything you say about me, my family, anything I have to say, it doesn't matter. For one half of the world, the only thing they're going to hear is you're a pussy. For the other half of the world, anyone who likes you, they're going to listen to the rest of the world call you a pussy. That's being a fencer. Who knows how to play chess? It doesn't matter how big the world is. If one person picks on me in front of three people, I'm going to brutally humiliate the fuck out of you until you wish you were dead. And then we might fight. Your life ended. You were a jerk. I probably was minding my business. That is... There's a, there's a quote, this is from Mark Ribito, a polite society, an armed society is a polite society. That's a reinstatement of Mark Ribito quoting Robert H. Heinlein, who was quoting Sun Tzu. When you give people sticks, people stop being jerks. Literally, he gave the countryside sticks and said, here is martial arts. Only hit the people that deserve it. It's hard to, it's hard being a fencer. You have to take a lot of naps.